All right, folks, here we go as the action gets underway. I am Drew Abenhaus here with Herb Simmons, and we're get, taking a look at third generation wrestler Keith Smith Jr. You see uh, the one closest to the screen taking on the volatile Curtis Wilde and his valet wildfire, which you see right outside the ring there. So we'll, uh, we'll see how this match and what we get here. Well, you know, Keith, this is, uh, uh, Drew, this is a, a special match because, of, as you said, uh, Keith Smith Jr., the third generation uh, wrestler, I had that opportunity of, of uh, knowing and working with his grandfather, the late Eddie Smith, and of course, uh, uh, Keith Smith uh, working with SICW now. So this young man has got a, a long future in this business as long as he stays healthy. Absolutely right. And he's so far, so good. And right outside, you know, anytime you have a, a wrestler that has a, a valet or whatever she may be called, uh, it's double trouble for the referee. It is indeed double trouble. Denny Thomas needs eyes in the back of his head, I'm afraid. We saw here in the opening moments, Keith Smith um, kind of getting the opening advantage with that initial lockup. Got the kind of the power advantage, the, uh, the strength advantage shoving Curtis to the floor enough to uh, cause Mr. Wilde to take a pause and regroup. Well, right. we're going to see if the Smith tradition keeps, uh, keeps going on here. Whoa, there, there, I'm telling well, you, look at the chops already. <laughs> talk about the Smith tradition. And look There's at that. another part of the Smith tradition. Strong drop kick from Junior, I guess we'll call him. Yeah, there's no time out here, Mr. Wild. And, and Keith Jr. Uh, moves in and whips him off the rope. Whoa, tried to up it. Oh, that back Went for that on. leapfrog. Curtis Wild saw that come and grabbed him for a sort of inverted atomic drop, followed up by a strong clothesline. You see, you see Jr. there, <laughs> pain in the nether regions. Those atomic drops are rough business. Well, and Curtis just now going to continue to put those boots to him. Keep the big man down while you can. And what a crowd, once again, at the East Crondelet Community Center. Yeah, standing room only, it looks like. Each and every show. And as we said before, SICW 2015, leading up to our big show that's going to be coming up in May of this year, on May the 16th, when we do the annual Wrestling at the Chase celebration. And Dr. Drew... If wrestling at the chase would have still been on in 56 years this May that we'll be celebrating those memories because that, that's what we have. That sounds crazy because in a lot of people's minds, I'm sure a lot of those moments seem like they were just yesterday. Yes. So we're not only will we be celebrating that 56th anniversary of the wrestling at the chase memories, but this year we're going to be doing a Bruiser Brody Memorial. You know, Herb, your words were very prophetic earlier as we see here. Denny Thomas. Could have used that extra set of eyes in the back of his head. When the wildfire is around, you might get burned just a little bit. Just a tad. Great camera work there by Dr. Grant. I have Dr. Grant and Dr. Drew. Absolutely. Fantastic team of physicians here. <laughs> we can operate on anything. And right now, uh, Curtis no, is trying to operate on the uh, mouth of... <laughs> Keith Smith. Absolutely. But no, you're right. Uh, Grant Murphy is about one of the best in the business, and we're very happy to have him as part of the SICW team. And what's good about it? Ooh. Oh, look oh, at I that, felt that wildfire just sinking her claws, right? And look at her. Oh. She's proud of herself. Man, I feel Did I that. do that? You can see she's... <laughs> man. Man, oh, man. And what's good about... Grant Murphy is what we miss, he always catches. Great camera work. Curtis, not paying any attention to the referee. Just kind of get out of my way, young man. Let me handle this. Well, that's Curtis Wilde, sort of a master at setting the tone, setting the pace for his match. Mm. Keith Smith Jr. is a rather athletic guy, so he's going to be moving a little quicker. Curtis Wilde has more of a more of a base behind him, and he's going to have probably um, a bit more of a, a lower sort of a, a strength advantage. So 
he could just slow it down a little bit. And uh, like I said, he's setting the tone for this match. He's, you're going to go at my speed. He's not going to work at someone else's speed. Referee tells him to get out of there, let the man out of the corner, and has an exchange word. And now drapes him over that middle rope once again. And some of the fans giving him the raspberry back there, it looks like. <laughs> and there's, sh <laughs> once again, she is trouble. Double trouble, as I said earlier, the referee being distracted. Key Smith needs to reach down inside, regroup here, but no, he gets a boot to the midsection and to the side. And as I was saying earlier, that big show in May, not only will we be celebrating that 56th year of wrestling at the chase this year, we're adding, adding a Bruiser Brody Memorial. Yeah. And why don't you tell our fans uh, some of the guests that's going to be coming in. Well, as of right now, lined up for this very special event, of course, Bruiser Brody's his best friend and his number one tag team partner in his wrestling career, of course, talking about the bad man from Borger, Texas, the Lariat, Stan Hansen. We have a, a famed announcer from re the good old wrestling days of the AWA. We're talking about Mick Karsh and also uh, just a, a beautiful, lovely woman, uh, the widow of Bruiser Brody. Barbara Goodish will be joining us in the East Carondelet Community Center, and she's always been one of SICW's biggest supporters and is just an absolute treat to meet. So, fans, uh, just that alone is worth the price of admission. We're going to have uh, Q&A sessions earlier in the day, autograph sessions for you to come and meet these people and ask them questions. They're all going to talk about the good old days of wrestling. And that's, that's just some of the great stuff going on in and, May. So start and, marking your calendars now. And also, that is our goal. Our other goal is to hope uh, to have our good friend Larry Matasek there with us uh, to round out that. And any other surprises that uh, SICW can come up with, that's Saturday, May the 16th. As Dr. Drew said, we'll have a question and answer session earlier in the afternoon, uh, just before the big match that evening. Uh, the price of your ticket will allow you to come in that afternoon and sit around and talk with these legends and uh, talk with them about the days of wrestling and what your memories was of uh, the late uh, Bruiser Brody. And Herb, just to, uh, if I can just give the fans a bit of a sneak peek, a bit of a teaser, I know you've been working on a special project which is set to debut on that day, sort of a, a photo book, a collection of memories of, of Bruiser Brody and those good times. Yes, we've actually just uh, got the we just got the first print of it out. Uh, it's a uh, it's not a big Whoop. book. It's a uh, but it's full of photos of Bruiser Brody, uh, Stan Hansen. Um, so we've got that actually. Uh, it will be going up on our SICW website uh, shortly. Keith Jr. We see the kind of the old school ways of Keith Jr. mastering the fundamentals himself with those that figure four leg lock. Well, that's another tradition of, as you said, the Smith. I, I watched his grandpa use that to win many matches. I've watched his father use it. And now I'm getting to watch this young man execute that figure four grapevine there. Real trip down memory lane, I imagine, for you, Herb. Memory lane. And that's what I have with all of this is memories. And now, uh, once again, double trouble. <laughs> Wildfire saving her man from the possibly losing the match. It looked like he was probably really close to submitting from that figure four. She's doing yeah, her best to distract the referee. Curiously, some slithering over Ooh, like a snake. What a low blow that was. The referee turned his back. And now, one, two, three. Oh, and uh, <laughs> Once again, Keith Smith Jr. was doing quite well in his match. Talk about kryptonite. SICW wrestlers are going to have to watch out for this piece of kryptonite called wildfire as we watch Curtis Wilde move his way up the ranks. All right, wrestling fans, what an episode. Thank you for joining us today on Wrestling Explosion. You can catch all of the great SICW action yourself, live and in person. April the 18th, we're in Millstadt, Illinois. April the 25th, we are back in East Carondelet, Illinois. For all information, SICW.org. Join us next week as we take a look at a very special two out of three fall, six-man tag team match here on Wrestling Explosion. Wrestling Explosion.